Woo. If you spend too much, we will go to <laughs> <Just like laughs> go <straight> away. <laughs> Welcome to the Kerala backwaters. This place is one of the crown jewels when it comes to southern India. It's gorgeous, serene, and one of the most relaxing places in the Indian subcontinent. I'm about to give you an authentic look at it from a beautiful houseboat. We're exploring churches, attractions, and communities, but we're also gonna eat good. Fried shrimp, kingfish, crab curry, fried bananas. This is the Indian seafood of your dreams. I'm showing it all to you right now. Let's go to the Kerala backwaters in Kerala, India. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful, gorgeous Alapi, Kerala, India. I'm with my boy Eben from Hi. Food and Travel TV. Hello. And, and what are we doing today? We are going to explore houseboat Alapura. Houseboat? Yeah. yeah, people call it as Alapi, but the real name is Alapura. Alapura? Ah, yeah. Okay. So, we are going to explore houseboats. We are going to sail on uh, the backwaters of Kerala. Kerala's backwaters are one of the best in the world and we are going to explore and see them. We're right Let's now see. on a bridge. A little scary, but what they said is just try to stay in this white line. Yeah, we are going to park our car here, then we'll check into the houseboat. There's so many houseboats here. How many different, like, I guess it's different companies, different sizes. Yeah, there are a lot of different companies. Different sizes, different uh, by quality as well. Some of them are deluxe, some are premium, some are luxury. Um, they are different. And are some like just restaurants or no like... Restaurants no are inside, yeah. The plain restaurants alone, yeah. yeah, there are a few. We're staying only one night on the houseboat. So instead of taking this huge Goliath of a luggage, I'm taking out what I need just for the night. I'm putting it in my carry-on. I basically just need my passport, change of clothes, and that's it, right? So what do I need? Passport, underwear, Socks, more shirts. Just take two shirts in this case. All right, and that's basically it, right? Done. Let's go. I have a smaller one. I like it. It's pink. You don't do a single bed, lady. This is a single bed. One bedroom. That's a single bedroom? Yeah. Wow. So there are houseboats with even five bedrooms. Some houseboats are having. Yeah, one. even there are houseboats with ten bedrooms. What? One bedroom up to ten bedrooms. So we're basically walking along this lake, right? Yes. Is it the lake? Uh, backwater. Backwater. So backwater is a collection of lakes, rivers, uh, and canals. So it's a small canal. We are walking on the side of on the banks of the canal. We are going to anchor at night. We'll use a country boat to sail inside the smallest canals and we'll stop by and we may walk in the villages. Cruise land, pleasure, nice to meet you. And here we go, entering the houseboat. I'm excited, look at this. This is the captain just like steers the boat, it's amazing. <laughs> wow, guys, this is awesome, let me see this. Whoa. Hello, my friend. Cruise land. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Coconut? Dude, what is this? It's amazing. We're in Kerala, the land of coconuts. Wow, you really need this. Oh my god. So hot outside with this, you just refresh, your head cools down. And look at this place, amazing. We got like a living room here. We have four couches, a fifth one in the middle, some chairs, and behind us we have, I guess that's where we'll dine, right? Some bananas, pineapple, water, a TV. Let's go see the rest of the houseboat, follow me. First things first, let me take off my bag. Oh, this is my new home for the day. <laughs> Get the coconut, let's go see this place. Wow, nice hallway. Again, this is a three bedroom. So what do we have here? We have one of the bedrooms. Oh, nice, look at this. So we have a twin bed, very nice. Got a fan, bathroom right here. Oh wow, this is like, dude, I'm in a hotel. This is a hotel. Bathroom, so we got toilet, shower, so we have three rooms just like this. And I think this is like the smaller bedroom. I don't know that for sure, but we'll see. Here you have a place to wash your hands. Always wash your hands before and after every single meal, right? Okay. So this is basically the same room, just, you know, flipped. Same exact thing. Yup. Bathroom, same. 
Dude, this is great. I love this. This is like a traditional style hospital, right? And as you walk along this hallway, you have these huge windows. You can see right outside, more houseboats, backwaters, lily pads, beautiful setting. Third room, exactly the same as the others, so no need to show it, right? And over here, we have the kitchen. So this is where we're gonna cook all the meals. We're gonna catch some fish, we're gonna cook it right here, make some curries, fish curry, duck curry. <laughs> Thanks, man. And then over here, we have the tail end of the boat. Oh, from here we can just relax, watch the sunset. Dude, this is beautiful. Look at this. My God, this is like what you think about when you think about India. Backwaters. And this, one thing Evan was telling me is this is what, like basically the Venice of the East. People used to come in here and do the trading. And you told me it's called black gold. The foreigners, they used to come here in Kerala to, to buy black gold. Black golds are black purpose. So uh, we are traveling to Thakuri tomorrow. So Thakuri is, uh, not Thakuri, Idiki. Idiki district is a paradise for spices so all the spices pepper cardamom cinnamon all these things used to come from idiki to alapi and from alapi to the to the rest of the world guys let's go explore the backwaters of alapi i am so excited the one thing i needed to do that i said i'm going to kerala because i want to get on a houseboat i want to explore the backwaters and that's exactly what i'm doing right now the one thing you have to do when you come here to this state is this look at this this entire place is known as kutanad kutanad is a region in kerala which has plenty of paddy fields backwaters and it's really beautiful coconut groves beautiful place and it has a small portion from Alapi and another small portion from Gotem, two districts. Awesome. And we are going through uh, some of these paddy fields also in the afternoon, late afternoon. Uh, now we will go to a temple, a Buddha temple, which is known as Karimadi. Karimadi, Karimadi Kutan, right? Karimadi Kutan. That is the uh, name of Buddha statue there. This is just beautiful. I love it, man. Look at this. On the water, very peaceful. You feel the birds chirping, you see, I mean, there's houseboats, but you slowly, you know, get out of it. This is like the port of entry, right? You're just flying on the... <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my God. <laughs> the soundtrack of India, the horn. <laughs> Even here you need a horn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because there are plenty of houseboats. There are 800 registered houseboats. 800 here. registered houseboats yeah. here? Yeah. Wow. And there are more than that, actually. Registered are 800. Oh my God, that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. My man here. The chef just brought me some tender coconut, so he took the flesh out of the coconut. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite things. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, it's slimy, refreshing. Mmm. I love it. I love it. Every time you eat coconut here in Corona, ask them for the flesh. Do it for free. Mmm. You're gonna become my, my new brother here. <laughs> Hey man, this is too good. So we have about an hour before we get to the temple and the chef is cooking up a storm, our lunch. It looks amazing. Whoa, fish fry. What is it, fish fry? Yeah. Hey Captain, can I take over the wheel? <laughs> Oh, this is great. Woo! Let's turn a little bit. How much do you have to turn? If you turn too much, we will go to <laughs> Just like go straight that way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, have my boating license, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, he's got to play a little bit with it, right? Keep it straight. Anyway, it won't uh, move very fast. How fast are we going? Does he know? Like, what's the speed on this? 25 knots? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, we're cruising. Yeah. Nice. As you can see, beautiful rice paddy fields over here, coconut trees over here. We actually have a hotel so if you want, so you can also stay in hotels here. They have that experience as well. And here we go, yeah, yeah. He's, he's saying go left, go left. Don't, don't run into this. Look at this. We're gonna run into this grass. Is that, no, it's just grass, right? It's not an island. Yeah. Wow. And in terms of what you can see in, in wildlife here, there's a lot of fish here, there's crabs here, there's shrimp, because this is brackish water. The Arabian Sea is right beyond the palm trees over there, you know? We have commodores, so lots of bird life here. What else you were seeing? You have otters as well. Pretty amazing. No turtles though, right? No turtles? No. 
The turtles can be there, but we yeah. won't. We won't you, see you them. You won't see them. Yeah, it's not like the Amazon, right? They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take over, my man. I feel like I'm doing a bad job here. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Yeah. What a massive feast. Here, let me serve you. Please, thank you. Wow. I am beyond excited. I'm looking outside, seeing the beautiful scenery, palm trees, waterways. This guy just served me a mountain of rice. <laughs> Should I stop here? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'll get more, don't worry. It's, <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of rice there. So what do we have? This is sambar. Sambar uh, in India, we have sambar, especially South India. Mm -hmm. But different places, different styles of making. Exactly. Some people add a bit of tamarind. Mostly people add tamarind. It's uh, basically tomato. Yeah. It's like a tomato soup with potatoes, vegetables. Yes. And you mix it usually with this or with lentils. Yeah. And some people add leaves. Some may not do. Okay. This is Kerala's special. Wow. We call it as Amir. Mixed vegetables. We can say that. In mixed it. vegetables. Yeah. Wow, it looks amazing. It actually has like consistency of like it had eggs in between, like matching it yeah. together. Because we use uh, curd, okay. yogurt, to cook it. Okay, okay. Also coconut, grated coconut. Oh my god, coconut and everything here. Yeah, in Kerala we have coconut throughout. It's amazing. See, this is uh, cabbage, again with coconut and chilies, green chilies on it. Wow, so it looks like a coleslaw with green chilies but diced up even thinner than a regular coleslaw, but no mayo. It's like a pure coleslaw. That looks phenomenal. I can eat that whole plate. <laughs> can I can I serve more? Serve it. Let's okay? keep going. Yeah, the okay. whole thing, man. This is the the Indian tally backwater way. This is uh, we call it as pachari, okay. but it's a curry which is made with yogurt and ashka. Pachari, pachari. Even in Kerala, we have kichdi. Kichdi is a different one. And this is the chicken chicken curry. So fresh. Aroma. You have no idea the mix of <laughs> scents that, like it's just coming out, you know? And we have wow. beans. Oh green French beans? beans. It's like long beans, right? Yeah, long beans. Long beans, long beans with carrots and carrots. French beans it is long beans, yeah. Long beans. Long beans and carrots with curry leaves. And so this one we should take after having a course with samba. Okay. Once samba course finished, we will add this. We call it as uh, Pulisiri is made again with yogurt. Okay, let's say a doll. Not doll. No, not doll, but it looks like it. Yeah, it's yeah. the coloring. Just fully the color. And what do we have here? Yeah, let me come to the other side. No problem. Lemon. Lemon pickle. Oh, lemon pickle. You guys love pickles yes, down here. Very much. Everybody is eating. Like, every time I eat, we got pickles. Pickles, spices, sorry. No, don't worry. And we also do have some salad. Okay. So it's like pepper. It's a simple salad. Yeah, onions, the cucumber, cucumber, carrots, tomato, tomatoes, and a bit of pepper. Fabulous. That's it. And That's you it. have this is pearl spot. This is very special in coconut region. Okay. Pearl spot fish, and this is kingfish. So kingfish is a is a, like Arabian sea fish, and yeah. this is a freshwater fish. Freshwater fish. All right, Evan, how do we start this? So we should start with samba. We will mix samba with rice. Okay. And uh, ah, we have something else. We have puppet. Cheta, puppet. Cheta, puppetam, puppetam. Deriyo. We have puppetam. We should. You should crumble we call it, it as puppetam in Malayalam. I know. So what we have to we have to crush it. Okay. That sound itself is so <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Sorry, I put it down on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So just grab it, crunch on top. Perfect. So, so what you have to do, not fully, okay. just break it like this, okay. and put it forward. You can you can crush completely also. It depends upon you. Yeah, I actually like the crunch. Yeah. You know? And it really like um, it binds the rice together. You also, know? it has light salt. No, okay. it's salty. So and you can mix. If you need, you can mix this mixed vegetable curry. A bit of this. Okay. You try. You just take this curry like this, and okay. you try it. Mm. You get that flavor of yogurt mm -hmm. as well as uh, coconut oil. The coconut. These all are cooked in coconut. coconut. So good. 
I mean, that's that's what's the most unique thing about this place yeah. is the coconut. It's like it binds really well with all the flavors, you know, throughout Kerala. Oh my God! So you can mix it with mm -hmm. rice, and you can take a handful of rice. Let's like go. This. Mm. 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 Wow, the curd is delicious. Mm. Curd. We can also add these beans. See, even in the beans, you can see these. These are coconut pieces. Oh wow! So, so take a coconut piece and add some beans okay, and right carrots there. together. Not okay. Either inside rice or just like this. Or just long. Mm. Man, these flavors. They're so light too, not too spice, yeah. like not too much. It's not overbearing, you know? No, it's not. Oh. I love long beans. Mm -hmm. The veg mm -hmm. in India. Mm. Mm. You travel from south of India to north of India. Different vegetarian, ah, different food, different food, altogether different. Food. Every 50 kilometers, yeah. <laughs> different people, different language, different food, right? Trusting style, and festivals are different. Exactly, completely different, completely different. So this one's that I want, really want to try. Mm. That is cabbage with coconut as well as. So I'll try it alone, right? Yeah. It's like finely grated. You yes. Know? Yes. Wow. I ask you to try separately because you will get that unique taste. Yeah. If you mix with rice, it's a blend of everything. Yeah. Sometimes I like to keep the rice a little low, just because you get so full. You know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Now you should try fish. Fish. Okay. So which one? That one. Yeah. The pearl. The pearl spot. Let's try for the pearl spot. Okay. One second. Let me click my fingers. Take your time. No, that option. I don't know. That's my, that's my favorite part about India. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. So, you can just break a bit of flesh. Ah, that's what it has plenty of thorns, bonds. So, be careful. So yeah, I see them. Take from the middle, right from the middle. So, you won't get that much bonds. Okay. Right there. Pearl spot has soft flesh. Mm -hmm. And in some season, it will have muddy taste. Muddy right taste? Yeah. I don't think it is now. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's, it's a very light fish. Mm. You know, the thing is that this is a freshwater fish, very different taste. Mm. It's completely different from anything else that I have tried. Oh, yeah? It tastes like almost, I'd say almost like a flounder that's been fried. But because flounder has this similar type of body. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, if you look at the fish, it is much similar to tilapia. Okay. Yeah, but By don't, the shape. don't eat tilapia. Mmm. <laughs> what a meal. Now you can go ahead with whatever you love to eat. Whatever I like to eat. <laughs> okay. I think the one thing I want to try is the chicken right mm. Mm. chicken right here go in and break up some of the body there's some flesh be careful the chicken there is bones as well yeah so get some of that mm. Mm. oh man so one thing I love about the chicken here in India is that usually it's like extremely organic you know yeah. it's raised in this person's house mm -hmm. it goes out it's butchered and you eat it the same day, no frozen. But you said there's also other boiled chicken. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I've seen boiled chicken in a lot of these, you know, produce markets. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Here, here too, there are farms, but if you get country chicken, it's the best. Country chicken? Yeah. Mm. Okay, and this one? That's sour. You just Very mix sour. with rice and you can try it. Mm -hmm. Very sour. It's almost like a yogurt, mm. right? Yeah, it's yogurt. It's made with yogurt. Oh, it's made with yogurt. Mm. Oh, okay, sorry, I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt, ashgar, pineapples. Mm. Pineapple. Yeah, that's like the I think the one thing we're missing. The the pickle. 
Mm. Again, so is that mango or no lemon? Lemon, yeah. Because the, the body was like a almost felt like so a, tender, so tender. Yeah, because it was pickled maybe for a month or so. Okay, so it was meant. Yeah, almost yeah. It was I mean, obviously the taste is lemon, mm -hmm. but I thought it's just a pickle. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. What a meal, man. What a meal. And you can try kingfish. You mm -hmm. can add on with puppet. Go ahead. Go nuts here. Yeah. You can go wild. Go wild. <laughs> mm. The kingfish is phenomenal. Yeah, I love it. Even me. Look at that. It's like having like fried chicken. Fish chicken. <laughs> Not fried chicken. Like fish sticks, you know? Yeah. Mm. No bones, only the, the spine. Mm. Oh, man. So you're done with samba, you should try pulisieri. pulisieri. This is known as pulisieri. Okay. Once again, made from yogurt. Okay. Shall I add a little more? Or oh, it will be watery. I think it's good, I think it's yeah. good. A bit too watery, right? Yeah, yeah I got it. Mm hmm mm. It's again sour. Am I yeah. right? And there's pineapple in this as well. Yeah. People make different styles, different ways. Mm -hmm. The thing is that once you get to this point, all the flavors start blending. <laughs> they really do. Like I don't know if the, the chutney, oh sorry, I don't know if the pickle fell in, mm -hmm. chicken's in there. Yeah, I have a bunch so of chicken here. Just you have like, almost mixed everything. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, this one's very moist. It's like dripping down my yeah. chin. At the end, it's good to have some of pineapple pitches, but cherries. Mm. The taste of pineapple with your gut and uh, ash curd, super. We'll visit the temple here. We stopped by the temple now. We'll go visit the temple, then come back and enjoy the dessert. We have a limited time, so we have to go. Awesome. Okay, so we're parking. This is the dock? Woo! Let's do this. It's a temple. Buddhist temple, right? Yeah, Buddhist temple. The only way I know that is because of the, the, the pagoda. <laughs> the pagoda. <laughs> Actually, uh, the name is Karimadi Kutan. Buddha image. You can see that it's written here. Buddha image. In this Buddhist temple, you can see one really important thing. It's a Buddha from the 9th to 14th century. They don't have an exact date because they found it in an area nearby. But it's really unique because it's black, granite, and it's cut in half. Look at this thing. I've never seen a Buddha statue like this. I don't even know what position he's in. He has his arm like down, right? Yeah. But the other arm, we have no so, idea. So, yeah, we, it's supposed to be like this, but okay. the other side is cut off. So it's a white pagoda in this super, super hot environment. <laughs> <laughs> because humid, but it's now around 130. It's really hot. Yeah. I, I, I really think right now it's like 42 degrees. Because the no, humidity is hitting. It's because of humidity. Maybe yeah. around 30 degrees, 32 degrees, I think. Oh, it's warm, man. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I'm from Miami, man. I know the heat. Uh, I'm from Miami. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much it can be here? Miami? No, here, now. <sighs> Maybe 30, 32. At least. I think the humidity is the yeah. thing. Because yeah, it's not it's dry it. at all. All right. Dessert time. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. You're going to jump like that? Uh, you got it? You got it? Careful. Better. Yeah, I better pull this guy, huh? Let's pull him. Ah, yeah, no. like this is. No. Woo. You got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, let's have the desserts. Piesum. And here we have the piesum. Piesum. So, it should be sweet. It's like a noodle porridge. Mm. Oh wow, super sweet. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it. There's also some like tiny grain in here. What else is in here? Mm. Look at this. Like a, I think it's a nut. Mm, raisin. Oh wow. Basically, this is like a noodley pudding, I guess. Sometimes hot, sometimes cold. Right now it's cold because we left it there for like 30 minutes. Mmm. Really good. It's a great way to combat the heat. If you have very spicy food before, it is really nice. It has like a palate cleanser, you know? Mm. And yeah, guys, that is our adventure today. 
We had an incredible experience. I gave you an entire tour of this houseboat. Love it. Three bedroom houseboat. You got a kitchen in the back. You can see the captain right here. We had an amazing feast cruising along the backwaters here in Alapali. Alapada. Alapura. 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 So, cruising along the backwaters of Alapura. And yeah, just a great experience. I highly recommend doing this when you come to Kerala or when you come to India. Definitely add this place to your list. You will love it. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And subscribe to my boys' channel. Food and travel. And visit us always. Be with us. Peace. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here in beautiful Alapura, Kerala, India, the backwaters. Look how beautiful this place is. Palm trees, we have rice fields, we have hundreds of houseboats, there's like 800 houseboats out here. We're on one of them, a three bedroom. This place is epic. Look at this. Just gorgeous, peaceful scenery. Today we're gonna do is we're gonna explore the backwaters, we're gonna go see a church, we're gonna go fishing, we might go to a market and get some crabs and some shrimp, and then we're gonna have some dinner. I am so excited, I'm gonna jump in the water. Evan! Hi! How are you doing? Great. I'm enjoying with you actually. The place is so beautiful. I believe you are also enjoying, am I? I'm loving, I'm loving yeah. it. So uh, you can see that Paddy feels if you are coming to Alapi, uh, there are different seasons and all these seasons are having different different color. They are all beautiful. Now it is green. After some more months, it will look golden because the paddy will grow big and rice will be ready to be harvested. That's the local transportation. <laughs> a very beautiful time we are enjoying here. We will try for fishing. Uh, if we get something, we will try to cast net and if we get something, we will try to cook that as well tonight. The best time to visit Alape is between November to Jan and beginning of February. Yeah, that's the best time. From February onwards, it is warm. Uh, it's going to be very hot. And by May, June, July, August, it's monsoon, heavily rain. David, this is Basilica of St. Mary's Chambakulam. Chambakulam is the place name. Basilica of St. Mary's. It is somewhere around 1,500 years old. AD 427, something like that. What? Yeah. Quick history lesson. Yeah. St. Thomas the Apostle arrived in India in the year 52 AD. Yes. That's crazy. He lived and died here. Yes. Right? He lived here for almost 30 years. AD 72 or something like that. He passed away. Wow. In so, Tamil Nadu, near to Chennai. So is there a huge Christian population in this area? Because I see it here, I haven't really seen it in North. It's mm. more in this area. Yeah, almost 26% of Kerala population are Christians. 26, more than 26%. It is, as I said, St. Mary's Basilica. Uh, let's see the church. Uh, there is also a cross which is very old. We'll see that cross on the other side. All right, so this is the church, as you can see. You have some blue carpet, the chairs, you can take them out. It's not like, you know, most churches in Europe where the benches are all lined up and you can't remove them. And then as you see in the far end, you have a few different angels. And at the top, you have Jesus Christ, angels, Mary. And over there at the very top, you have the Last Supper. Really beautiful, colorful church. Obviously, we're in India. Lots of colors here. Now let's continue and let's see the cross. And right here, we have the oldest cross from the property. We don't know if it's a thousand years old, but it's really, really old. Obviously, the church that was here is over a thousand years old. And here it is. Beautiful cross. And right here, as you can see, you also have the cross again. And you have over here, like really, really old, I don't know what language that is. It's Malayalam. It's Malayalam? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that's it, we saw the basilica, we saw the cross. Now let's get back on the boat and go to the market, fishing, let's continue. The church is like, man, it's grand, huh? Huge. This area, you have all these little houses, and then you have this massive basilica. Got some fish right there. Look at the little fish. Uh oh, cute. All right, let's get back on the boat. What are they? David, let's have some evening snacks. Not evening, late afternoon snacks, we can say. And chai, you wanted to have chai. Ginger tea. Yes, ginger tea. And what is that right there? 
This is Parambari, we call it Parambari, banana fry, banana not plantain, they are plantains. And this is um, bread, bread fry. Fried bread. <laughs> fried bread. Fried plantains and fried bread with some ginger chai. That's the best. Yeah. So this is ooh, too hot. <laughs> fried plantain. Mmm. Mmm. I'll tell you, this tastes like a maduro. Maduro is basically a plantain mm -hmm. in the Latin America. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Oh, okay. But here you have the fry. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you can try all different varieties. And now you should try this one as well. Just fried bread? Yeah. It's not a Baka local food. No? Fried bread. Mmm. Basically like French toast. Yeah, this is, okay, we call different. This is a bit uh, salted and spicy. And this one, spice with banana. No, plantain. So it's sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, contrast. It's sweet and spices, not spicy. Yeah. Mushy in the middle. Mmm. So good. I eat plantains and bananas all day long. So you can see the cumin seeds here. And this is a batter. They just dip plantains inside the batter and then fry it. Deep fry it. When the plantain is really ripe, it tastes very good. Nice. So the last thing to do is to dip the bread into the chai. So just dip, let the inside it's still fluffy absorb it. Alright, ooh, like that. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. Go the cumin with the delicious ginger. Yeah. If you're interested in running out of houseboat and staying overnight, this is how it works. Check-in is at noon, then you go out, you have lunch, you explore, you have dinner, sleep, wake up, have breakfast, and check-out is at 9 a.m. It costs 30,000 rupees and it accommodates six people. Three bedrooms, six people. That comes with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, activities, the entire staff. I think it's a bargain. You have to do it. I mean, this is a must. If you come into Kerala, come do this if you're going to india add this to your itinerary you have to fly down here there's four airports you can go to kenor Kalikat, trivapuram and uh kochi. and kochi and kochi you got it i haven't been up there yet but i'm <laughs> going but yeah this is an experience all right my turn my man let me take the wheel <laughs> we're about 10 minutes out from the market as you can see we're crossing through the backwaters tons of boats i mean you see a boat every three or four seconds here crazy amount of boats you have houses lots of churches that's what i see the most of lots of churches over this here we a have temple. A, a, temple? a temple yeah this is a temple that's a hindu temple yeah hindu temple because but this is a temple there was another temple some time back we did not see i mean uh we were shooting on the other side so churches plenty of them i did not recommend doing this but i'm doing something crazy here in kerala if you fall into the water no worries it's only six meters deep there's no crocodiles no alligators Nothing scary in these waters, just fish, maybe some otters. <laughs> All right. You don't go swim in this water though. Wow, this is amazing. Woo! God's own country! We are here. This is market. a fish center. It's not a market, okay? Yeah, this is like a little convenience store, right? Little convenience store. There's some uh, some coolers here with fresh fish. They're all on ice, right? They're not live fish. Whoa, look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> I'll take you. Don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And here we have some freshwater crabs. So what type of crab is this? Does it know? Oh my God, I tried to... Yeah, yeah. No, he tried to get me. <laughs> Nice. Wow, look at that. You have so many. What fish is that? Mm. Sea fish, sir. Sea Black fish. Pump. Black pump. So, in these coolers, we have tons of different fish. We have tuna, snapper. Which one is this? Pearl sport. Pearl sport. Pearl spot. That's what we ate earlier, huh? And over here, we have the kingfish. 
This is the one we've been eating every single day. This is actually my favorite fish in Kerala. It's the one with the least bones. It has one spine in the center. Prawns. We are going to bite some of them. What are the prawns? Yeah. We'll, oh wow. We'll fry them. Tons of prawns. These are big prawns. Are these tiger prawns? Then we're gonna buy some for dinner. Tiger prawns? The way you can tell they're tiger prawns, they have like tiger stripes and they're really, really big. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow, so we're gonna get some? Fry them? They're medium sized tiger prawns, not very big ones. I mean they're not they're not small, small, they're like yeah. a little bigger. Yeah. yeah, I know I know the big ones are huge. Yeah. We got a few prawns, we got a toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> Forgot mine. Let's go. Yeah. That's awesome. So we are going for casting the nets. Bye bye. As you can see, the sun is setting. It's almost gone. We're trying to really hurry up as fast as possible to get the nets and cast them. I really want to catch some fish. What fish do we have here? Like tiny fish, right? Tiny, big, all are there. Pearl spots. There are plenty of pearl spots, but we may or may not get pearl spots. We cannot get pearl spots so easily. No. That's it? Ah, he is casting nets there. So you can see, there's a country boat. The fisherman is catching fish there. This is the docking place for most of the ships. Okay. When they finish day cruise, uh, if overnight stay is there, they will come here, they will park the ship, uh, park the houseboats and then take are, rest. Are we here? Are we staying here? We are going to stay here. So we pass through this little canal crossing from that like big waterway to this waterway. And there, there was like a tiny little, uh, I guess a little strip you can yeah. cross through. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> up, up to 5 p.m., you up, can't cross. Up to 5 p.m., that ferry will be kept in the middle. And there's a road, the cars, buses, and all those things pass through. So after 5 p.m., they will remove the ferry. Then houseboats and other boats can come through. And this is a bigger lake, bigger part of the lake. We will go through that and we will go to the other side. We will park our um, houseboat there and then we go for casting nets. We're about to park where we're sleeping tonight and the guy who has the nets is right here. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Evan, that guy almost tripped, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a single bed with an upper deck. So, I mean, it's like a, a third of ours, right? Dude, I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a plank, man. I walked the plank. So there is a paddy field there, the other side. But we are not going to cast nets there. We will cast nets. <laughs> <laughs> if we cast nets there, we're gonna catch a bunch of rice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little convenience store right here, next to where everybody parks. So here's our buddy who's taking us out to catch some fish. As you can see, he got the net. He's gonna take us around the corner, throw the net, catch some fish. The only problem is it's getting really, really dark right now. So hopefully we can see in the dark and the mosquitoes are coming out. I wanna get back on the boat soon. So hopefully we got something. Small fish, I'm sure. Tiny fish. Yeah, tiny fish we'll get. I hope so. Oh yeah. So we caught a few fish. They're very, very small. We're gonna throw them back in. We're gonna try one more time, see if we catch anything big. Yeah, I think that's the best lure we're gonna have here is tiny, tiny fish, nothing else. It's all good though, we saw how he does it. And you usually do this from the canoe, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so from the canoe, deeper water right here, it's very shallow, so you're always gonna get tiny, tiny fish. <laughs> all right, I think we're done yeah. with the fishing because it's super dark, we can't see anything. We're gonna go back to the boat and have some dinner and relax. I think we're gonna try the coconut wine. The coconut wine is a famous drink here in Kerala, so they make wine out of coconut. As soon as the sun set, it became so dark out here. If you don't have your phone with a flashlight, you can't see anything. There's mosquitoes everywhere. We're gonna get back into the house, but right now, I have to like cross this ladder. Hold on, here we go. All right, Ooh, it's dark, super dark. All right. <laughs> Let me get in here. So as soon as we walked into the houseboat, it was completely dark. And the reason for that is because they can't turn the lights on because all the mosquitoes are just flocked straight into the boat. So they waited till we were inside, they closed all the doors, and they flipped the light switch on. Thank God, because there's no mosquitoes in here now. And what is this? This is toddy. Look at toddy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To food and travel. <sighs> it's sour. No? Super sour. It's like a super. It, it's okay. It's, 
it's milkish. Like it's like very cloudy. Yeah. Mm. Is there a lot of alcohol here? Not much. No, no? not much alcohol. Like what? Four percent? Like very Maybe low. Maybe like yeah. Yeah, not so bad. It's good. So this is what locals drink here. Yeah. So how they pull it out of the coconut? I don't get how they make it. The process is. Uh, it's like they're stealing a coconut. They, they tap way? coconut that flower. They collect the nectar inside the pot. After maybe around eight hours or something like that, we get this one. <laughs> By the way, alcohol is injurious to health, and it is mandatory to mention that. <laughs> but enjoy. <laughs> See, our prawns are ready for frying. These are marinated with ginger garlic and green chili paste. Also, they have added some garam masala. It's a mixture of masalas here. Masalas means spices. And also black pepper. So they are going to fry it in coconut oil. And we're going to cook it. David, you should try this. Try this, it? Yeah, this is chutney. You can try like this? Yeah. Mmm. Crazy like chili. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> you know, spicy, super flavorful, nice and crunchy, moist. And also, they have added shallots here. That's why, it's the yeah. best. Yeah. Shallots and coconut oil. Mm -hmm. uh, they add a little bit of coconut oil. If Ooh. you use olive oil, just numb my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> spicy, man. <laughs> it's spicy, of course. <laughs> this is chili, so it should be spicy. <laughs> so let's talk about this. The main cuisine is kanyi. Kanyi, you call it as soupy rice or gr rice grill? Rice grill. Yeah, but let's call it as soupy rice. We will start with chapati because they have prepared chapati also as well as uh, this is dal, butter dal. So here we have the chapati, the dal, prawns, pearl fish, rice soup. Oh, this chili chutney looks amazing. Cassava, dried fish. We got some more veg, dal, and that's the chicken right there. Oh my God, so I'm gonna start right here. Chapati, oh, this is a nice chapati. So, bring off a piece, right? A little bit. That. Mmm. Mmm. Basically, like lentil puree. Oh, very light on the spice. Mmm. Really good. Nice. I like chapati too. To anybody in South America, chapati is a roti. Same exact thing. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. I usually put a lot of it in, make a little burrito, take it like that. Right now I won't do that. I'm going to jump on a prawn. Like this. So you grab the prawn, right? Pull off the shell. You don't have to. Huh? You can't eat with the shell. Eat with the shell? Yeah. Okay. So, my friend's telling me eat with the shell. So I eat with the shell the whole thing? Oh! Mmm! A little masala. Mmm! The coconut oil. Wow. So these prawns have ginger, black pepper, garlic, and green chili. Mmm. Mmm. I can't tell you enough of how good the seafood is down in Kerala. The spices. Mmm. Mmm. The crunch right there. I love eating the shell. It was phenomenal. Next up, I'm jumping on my favorite green chili chutney of all time. I just had it in the kitchen, right? So we got a little bit. I actually got a lot, but why not? It's so good. You get a little bit of chapati, but enough that you can get a good amount into like a little mm, pocket right there. Look at that. Look at this. And here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The heat. It's not like a super spice, it's more of a numbing spice. Something like a Szechuan, you know, the Szechuan pepper. Ooh, the tongue. <laughs> Next up, the dry fish is calling my name. Let's grab it. Here we have it, dry fish. Oh, you can see the spine right there. 
Ooh, salty, crunchy, super fishy. <laughs> Good though. Mm. I have no idea what fish this is, but I like it. Bones, oh, everything went down easily. Smooth. Next up, I'm gonna get some of the potatoes, which are right here. Potatoes, there's some chilies in it though. As you can see, a little bit of chilies. Got some potatoes, put it over here on the side. That goes with the patty well, right? And then over here we have what I had today for lunch, which is the cabbage. Got enough. I actually love this cabbage. Diced really well. Go in here with the patty. Break this up. So we do each one separate. You don't you don't mix both of those, right? So I'll go first with the potato. I got the chili. I don't know if you're supposed to eat that red chili. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. You wanted to have more spicy foods this way. I know, I know. It's all good. Mmm. That cabbage. Mmm. One of the best cabbage salads ever. If you like spicy and you like cabbage, ooh. Coleslaw with a ting. Everything I've eaten in Corona is absolutely phenomenal. Next up, we have some chicken curry. Small piece of chicken. Grab it up. Break it up. So get a little bit of chapati, right? Always use one hand, right hand. And you go in here, grab a little bit of that. Oh yeah. Usually here in India, they get a little bit. I have to go with a lot. Mmm. That's what we got, chicken. Mmm. I like this brownish curry. Mmm. Not too strong. Lots of black pepper, a little spicy. I asked the captain, I was like, yo, give me a little spice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do non-spice, you know? Everybody, when you come from the Western world, here in India, they always like lower the spice level, which is actually very nice of them. But for me, I want to eat like the Indians do. Next up, I'm gonna do something really traditional here in Kerala. First up, Grab the cassava, also known as yuca, right here. Now get some of the green chili chutney. Love it. Also get some of the dried fish, right there. And then, this is the way we do it, right? Kongi, right? So, rice soup. Mm. Plain. Next up, break a tiny piece of cassava, right? Right there. Then mix it with some of the green chutney and dry fish. So all that in one bite. Mm. That's a blend of flavors there. Next up we have to dig into the flesh of the pomfret fish. This is a fish from the sea. Nice flesh. Do I love what they put on the skin. Oh, spices. Well, I do. I'll get a little more adventurous, right? Got some of that. Mix with the chilies. Mmm. Oh, perfect. Mmm. Gotta say, that's the best part of baccarada. Chilies. So I feel like the is a little too bland for me. No salt. Let's do something special. And get some chilies. Get enough. Woo. Get some right there. And then just drop it in. Bam. Mix it up. Right? Get a spoonful. Mm hmm. Got a little scissors. And then, this is something really unique curly style. Oh my gosh, a big soup. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rice, dude. How much rice did you put in here? So, I have dal as well as I'm taking some potatoes the side. Chapati. Take a bit of dal like this, and mm. so good. It's good, real nice. And this potatoes like this. Let me squeeze a bit of lemon juice over the prawns, a little bit, not too much. Then I don't need the head. So 
remove the head take the prongs back tail Crunchy shells, juicy flesh, perfect. That taste of pepper and ginger and garlic. Garlic, garlic taste nicely. Good. So, good night. Good night, buddy. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, guys, what an amazing day it's been. Wow, this place is really phenomenal. So peaceful, so relaxing. I mean, we just cruised, we saw the basilica, went to the market, we saw how they fish, and then we had an incredible dinner, really traditional style. For me, my favorite thing was for sure the cassava with chilies, but the prawns also were like all punched in the face. They were so good, so delicious. I mean, spicy seafood is phenomenal down here in Kerala. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kerala, India. Peace. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Alapura, Kerala, India. I am so excited, it's six in the morning and we're gonna go on a canoe ride through the backwaters of this beautiful waterway. This place is so beautiful, look at this. You can hear the birds chirping, really relaxing here. And then after the canoe ride, we're gonna get back on the boat and head back to the port to get our car. On the way, we're gonna have breakfast, Southern Indian breakfast, has to include some delicious dosa with some chutney, some sambar, and then from there, we're gonna go straight to a toli shop to try some coconut wine and maybe some food. Let's go, I'm excited. Here's a canoe. What we have to do is to get on and sit directly on that mat, so. This. Facing this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Ah. Safe on. So we've been on the boat for about five minutes. We have a 30 minute ride. We're going into Canal. And as you can hear behind me, we have caught a prayer. So we have a mosque right behind us. The sun is rising. We also have, you know, I think this is a resort from what it looks like. It's like a resort, right? Lots of palm trees, lots of birds. Very peaceful out here. I mean, this is a great thing to do when you come. Uh, just come out, you know, for about 30 minutes. You take it all in, enjoy, you know, your time with your captain here. It's a little scary. This thing can like rock. <laughs> you can't even get up, man. It's, it's crazy. But I love the beautiful colors. Look at this: pink, orange, yellow. David. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> David in the Kerala videos of one of the April, right? yeah, yeah, April. David Kerala videos uploaded on the Karnam. Thirivan the Burmula, they have got a video chase, Totaki Anipa, Alapada, and even the Takri Pum, Takri in the Kori Koda, Kanure, Kochi, Ella, Salang, Trishu, and Lampo. David, you can see there are so many small canals here because. In Alapi, there are uh, small, small canals. In every house, they will have one canal at least because there are waterways here, not too much of roadways. Nowadays, there are roadways, but otherwise, waterways. So they they use those canals to go near around places, shopping for your haircut you went in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> like roadways are new here. Yeah, it's really super recent, right? Roadways are new. Waterways are the ancient ones. This is a house. This is a uh, old style, traditional style, uh, rich person's house, most probably. May have plenty of rooms. I do not know anywhere, uh, but it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest house we've seen here. It looks the prettiest. Two stories, lots of rooms, and he has a little gate to access to the water. Like, it's like he has a fence. <laughs> you can't come into my house. This one too, wow. That's a modern style house. The other one is traditional. So we've been out here for about 20 minutes. We went through one waterway. 
came out to this huge water area where you could see lots of houses, humongous houses, houseboats, there's modern houseboats, traditional houseboats, and then after that is a church, and then we made a left under this bridge, and here you can see it's very misty, beautiful setting here, lots of houses as well. I see birds like diving in for fish over here. This is a regular house, right? Just regular? Small house. And right here behind me, we have a floating bridge. It basically connects both of these islands. So what they'll do is they'll put the bridge on there so the cars can cross at a certain time and then it'll be closed from that time. So like, let's say 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yesterday, we passed through here right when it opened, like at 5.30. And it's right here, as you can see, the floating bridge. This guy, he cast net yesterday night. And he's, let's see, you can see, he got a pearl spot already. I don't get him in the net. He got a pearl spot. This is a pearl spot, see? Sit down on the car and go. So we ate that yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah, the same thing that we ate yesterday. The first one, the seat. Another one. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So basically, he did is he left it overnight, left all his nets. Yeah. Came in the morning, really early. It's almost 7 a.m. right now. Yeah. And that's what he got. So he got like six or seven of them. Wow. Dude, the mist. Look at that. David, we are in backwaters and this is a lake. This lake. Uh, lake in the bear, right? Is it? Is it? Ah, this lake is known as Minapalli. Minapalli Kyle. Minapalli Kyle, otherwise Minapalli Lake. And there are lakes around nearby. And if you're coming here during the time of Onam Onam Festival, also you can enjoy. At the same time, you can uh, you can enjoy this boat race. There are Nehru Trophy boat races, and there are plenty of boat races here. Chambakulam boat race. Plenty of them, and you'll really enjoy the color, the, that spirit. And yes, we're almost done with our boat ride. We're gonna get off, get into the boat, and have some breakfast. My favorite breakfast of all time Southern Indian dosas. These are called tata dosas. Very small, some coconut chutney, some sambar. Oh, oh. My butt, oh man, sitting there for like 45 minutes. Oh. All right, guys, let's go eat some breakfast. The backwaters have come alive. Everybody's coming out, tutus everywhere. All the houseboats are starting to leave. And what we're doing now is we're setting sail all the way back to the port area to get our car. Along the way, we'll see more waterways. We're gonna eat some breakfast. And that's what you do here. I mean, it's very relaxing. You could stay one night, two night, a week, whatever you want. Again, this is 30,000 rupees for a three bedroom like this. Fits six people, breakfast, lunch, dinner included. Amazing, really amazing experience. All right, Captain, let's go. David, these are Kerala doshas. In Kerala, the traditional doshas are smaller in size, but if you normally think about, if you have heard of dosha, it's with a huge diameter, am I right? But this is smaller in size. And these smaller ones or bigger ones, you eat with chutney. Shall I pour it here? Yes, please. This is coconut chutney. In some places, if you are going to Tamil Nadu, you'll get groundnut, peanut chutney. Sambar, pour over. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. So we can add a piece of omelette as well. Let's dig in? Yeah. So we can break doshas. Perfect, <laughs> you are Malayali now. <laughs> Coconut chutney, man. Coconut chutney, and you can sense the ginger, mm -hmm. the taste of ginger. Yeah, it's a, it's really strong, no? Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. It feels like you have chunks of coconut. And then what do you do you, with the omelet? You can you, you can Same cut thing. a piece and you can just eat. Mmm. Mmm. This omelet, the onions. Chilies. Mm. Oh, it's so good. And I've never thought to mix dosa with egg. Mm. I've never done that. In some places, they also add omelets on the top of egg. Uh, sorry, on the top of uh, dosa. Dosa. Even bullseye. We'll try some other place. Mm. And for this one, the sambar, look at this. So you have huge carrot right here. Mmm. That's good. Lots of veggies in that one. Yeah, that's that's something that I've noticed. Sambar changes in different places. Yeah. Um, if you go to Andhra Pradesh, mm -hmm. you get slightly thicker sambar. Andhra Pradesh? Yeah. 
and it's spicy because Andhra everything is spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. And as I said, even the chutneys differ from places to places. If you travel to Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, they add peanuts instead of coconut. Okay. I haven't had that before. Never. Never. The peanut, peanut chutney? You never tried? No, yeah. Mm. 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 And this dosa has a lot of holes, right? So it's very airy, mm -hmm. very soft, breaks apart very easily. So the one I had yesterday mm -hmm. was more almost like an American pancake. This one is more like it's spongy. You know? It's it's bigger one. Bigger doshas, it is more crisp. Yeah, more crisp. Yeah, because it's like a it's a mix, right? It can be yeah. crispy with dough in the middle or yeah. all crisp like yeah. uh the roast. What is it the roast? The roast uh, the knee roast? The yeah, yeah. Knee roast. Knee roast. That was good. I like that one. It's like <laughs> ghee roast. Oh my god. And in this dosha also, we add lentils plus rice. Plus rice. Yeah. And fermented for a few hours. Okay. Maybe six hours to eight hours. Wow. A similar food is there in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia? Yeah. Wow. It is known as injera. We can't say that it is exactly the same, but that is fermented for several days, maybe three days, four days, five days. So they and copied the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Breakfast was phenomenal. I think we have about 15 minutes to go before we get to port. I'm just gonna enjoy my chaya right here on the deck with the captain. This is the life. Hanging out here on the front deck, drinking my chaya, super early morning. My man, the captain, Chaya Chaya. <laughs> wow, look at all the houseboats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody's going back, right? That's it? Yeah. It's over? Thank you so much, captain. What a great adventure. Walking back to the car now on this dirt path, as you can see all the houseboats passing by. This is like the port area. This is where you drop your car off and you walk to your boat, you board, you go out for the day, two days, a week, whatever you want. Really amazing experience, very serene here. I mean, I am in awe of this place. Very tropical, obviously it gets really hot, but because you're on the boat, you have the wind coming in. It is epic, epic. I loved it. I could have done one more day. Um, unfortunately, it's not like so much to do in terms of activities because you can't go swimming and you know, certain things you can't do here. But overall, great experience, delicious food. Evan, you're the man, dude. Thank you. My man, where are we going next? You're going to a toddy shop. Toddy shop? Nearby in Alapizza. Alapura, Alapi. Actually, Alapura is the real name, but Alapi is what popular is. Where are you from in the US? From Miami. Miami. So we'll sit inside a Miami tent or a cottage and we'll go to New York and we'll enjoy toddy, coconut toddy. In Alapura, there is a New York toddy shop and we set the GPS for that. We are going to New York toddy shop. In New York toddy shop, there are, there is Miami, there is Chicago. We'll go to Miami. So as we're making our way to the toddy shop, we're passing by tons of rice fields, like hundreds and hundreds of acres out here. There's also farmland and there's small communities. We're passing through one community, it's full of houses, there's a temple, there's some vendors selling you know, vegetables, bananas, etc. Over here there's another rice field. Oh wow, look at that. And so yeah, we're about, what did it say, two minutes from the toddy shop, it's right here. It's really hidden, it's like super behind the scenes, yeah. deep in like the wilderness out here. <laughs> yeah, you can see that name board which is written in Malayalam, that is written American Junction. That is. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in American Junction, we are going to New York. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> Here we go, New York City toy shop. It's really funny though, I thought it was just a shop. It's a shop, but you can dine in any of these. Over here we have New York City, here we have Florida, we have Miami, we have Las Vegas. Yo, if we can, let's do Miami. Party in the city where the heat is on. Right next to the toy shop, you have this ginormous rice field. And over there you see the guys, they're fertilizing the grounds, they're throwing water, right? Spraying water everywhere. And over here, we don't just have New York City, we also have California, 
we have DC and each one has a number, right? So number one, two, three, four. We're gonna do number four. Oh, here, number eight and number seven, Georgia and Chicago. Number nine, Las Vegas. Number 10, San Francisco. This is really cool. Let's see what this place looks like. What is this? Oh, there we go. So basically it's a small room, open air, where you can wash your hands and you have an incredible view over the rice paddy fields. This is very unique. This is awesome. What you do here is you drink coconut wine and you eat some spicy crabs. They went with some crabs. They also have like some other stuff like shrimp and fish. His name is Kamalasan and he's one of the 30 tapas. And one more piece. This is a special knife used for tapping uh, coconut flour. Wow. And we get toddy, the nectar. So basically they tap the coconut flour and they pull out the nectar yeah. and that becomes fermented and then you drink it. For an hour, it gets fermented. It starts fermenting within minutes, within uh, hours, it will be fermented and it will become very soft. Otherwise it is sweet. If you get the, wet, the fresh one, it is sweet. We're going to catch fish, uh, live fish, and they cook for us. Then they either? These are uh, freshwater fish. The fish are literally jumping out of the of this little tank. Jumping from the from the. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Jumping from the tank to the pan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Take the photo. Take the photo. Ready? Before we eat, gotta wash our hands. I mean, this is the best place to wash my hands. Look at this. Look at this view. Get a soap right here, faucet, done. And for you, toddy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, much sweeter. So I guess they just took it out, right? Yeah. Just extracted it. Maybe an hour back. Oh, this is a million times better than the one I tried yesterday. This one's sweet, still sour, but very sweet. It's good. I can drink a jug. So David, let's start with, this is putta. Yesterday you had, this is pancake, we call it as appam. And this is fermented with tari. Can I give a fish fry? Please. Yes. And shellfish. And crab. Let me keep in the middle itself, one hand. And you need to have some gravy on the top of. Jameer. Yes, David. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready oh for the battle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we actually had a lot more dishes, but we said, hey guys, let's take it easy. We can try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dishes. Seven dishes. Seven dishes, yeah. <laughs> and Shamir, I haven't introduced him. He is from here. He's Malari. Malari. Malari, right. Malari. He's a travel vlogger, makes incredible cinematic videos, and he's going to join me today for this unbelievable feast. This is so good. What do we start with? Uh, We'll start with the put. So we generally eat with hands. So we'll start from the put. put. Okay. So we'll take some gravy. Perfect. And mix it with the put mm -hmm. a little bit. And mm. wow. Mm. So this one's rice flour. Yep. It's coconut as well, right? Yeah. Coconut, and then we have the gravy from the crab. Crab. Incredible. Mm. So this gravy is a, is a light gravy, lots of vegetables, you have curry leaves, and I love the puto, how it falls apart. It's like so it's crumbly. Soft and crumbly. Right? Yeah. Crumbly, airy, nice, and, and it all like blends together with, with uh, the gravy. Like it becomes like very like, like it becomes like pasty, pasty. you know? And the gravy is like mm. that pepper, taste of the pepper. Mm -hmm. We're giving you more flavor. Wow. And when it comes to the crab, you need to put a little bit of food to bring out those fleshes, break the shell, and mix it with the putta, and the process continues. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of flesh. It was hard. Mm. Oh wow. And this crab comes from this area, yes. obviously, right? From fresh water? No, from the brackish water, right? It's from the brackish water. water. Let's just crack this guy in half. It's hard when you're doing it with one hand, you know? Very hard. Mm hmm. Very hard. You get some of that flesh. There's also a claw here. It's a little hard to get into that claw, though. Grab this. Always with, the, with this, right? Yes. Like, always mix it up. Mix it up. 
right there. There you go. Mmm. The flavors, the freshness, not spicy. not spicy. This is not spicy. not spicy. I think he calmed it down because I wanted spicy. Mmm. <laughs> Juicy. It looks good. My turn. Bring it here. You can bite. Bite? Yeah. Well, wow. mm. suck all, all the flesh. Mm. Oh, that's good, man. So succulent. Ah, hard this one. Go in here. So for this one, we're using two hands, obviously. Have to. Mmm. For crab, you really gotta work for the flesh. I, you know, I've been eating crabs and lobster like my whole life. Oh. But usually, it's a little bigger. Oh, yeah, this one's like small, so it's a lot harder to get in. Oh, and there's a the flesh. Man, yours had like a real piece of flesh. You know, this is the first time I'm actually trying crab in India. Oh, in India? Yeah. So now what I do here, to get all the flesh, I gotta suck it all out. Mm. All the flesh there. Wow, mussels, some chilies, some onions. This is the best thing ever. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost like a stir fry of mussels. Wow. Dude. I think you must start trying the upper. Mmm. Mm. With the gravy. Oh, wow. It definitely has a taste of the of that, right? Mmm. -hmm. So this pancake is called appa, and it has the toti, right? So the fermented coconut nectar. So you mix it here with the gravy. It's mixed. It's mixed. Mm. How's it? It's good, but I'm getting a lot of chili from that. Mm. Spicy. It's super soft. It might look like an American pancake, but it's definitely not. The difference is it's not sweet. It's more sour. But it's good. And you're obviously not putting syrup on top, you're putting gravy. Mm. How are the muscles with this? Is that good? Just mix anything with the pancake, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You need to take like yeah. one part like that. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. perfect. Perfect, right? No bones. No bones. And also you can try it a little bit with an onion. Mm. Mm. The onion, huh? So good. Let's try a little more. Ooh, this is spicy too. I guess everything's spicy, right? Yeah, totally. What you get in the body shop is spicy. Mm. And so you. At least for us? So you clean it back <laughs> some of this, right? <laughs> oh, wow. That's the reason the connection with the toji and the spicy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like clean my palate. Pulls the heat down. Yeah. Amazing. Man, that is delicious. It's sweet, it's sour, it's a little thick. Good, man. So people will drink more toddy. Oh, I'm sure. Is it's that like, the point? Because they're burning, so they have to drink it. <laughs> mm. Good price, good. Mm. Is it spicy? It's not spicy. I like the bath they're using soft flesh. Mm. Soft and white flesh. Mm -hmm. Be careful with the bones. The whole thing's bones. Next up we have this delicious river fish. So I'm gonna grab a piece. Whoa, I just took his entire tail. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up. I'm a little nervous about the bones. Just gotta take it apart, right? Slowly go in, take out the flesh. Be really careful. Tons of bones here. They're very small. Barely can see them. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some of this apple. Up 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 up. Burr fish, gravy, and they're ready to the mouth. Perfect. 
Chew. Make a bone. I got bones. Chew it down. Chew it down. It's good. Spicy. That bone absorbs the gravy, right? Yep. I get mm. I actually like the flesh of freshwater fish more than saltwater fish. Let's Go. try the pomfret. So just try it right here? Yep. From the, from the center. You take it from the center? Yep. Perfect. Get a little onion. Somewhat. Mm. Will be really oh my nice. god, so good. Mm. The flesh is so soft. Whatever they're putting on top is amazing. It's like a creamy gravy. Creamy gravy, exactly. I don't know what is that though. Just like, it's like my pass. Besides the fact that my mouth is burning, I'm loving this experience. Coming to a toy shop is a real local experience. You come in, you sit in one of these little uh, colleges, I guess you guys call it, like little colleges, right? Some little hot cottages. From here you have epic views over this beautiful rice paddy field. And here we have the toy. I love it, this is so good. This is what neutralized the hot. Exactly, oh man, we need another jar. <laughs> and for me guys, my favorite thing was for sure these mussels. A little spicy, very easy to eat, no bones. And yeah, I mean, today was awesome. We started off on the houseboat at six in the morning, going on a canoe ride around the backwaters. After that, we had delicious breakfast all the way down to the port. After we got off, came straight over here and came to New York City Toddy Shop. That's pretty awesome. In Kerala, I know. So if you're an American, you'll love this. Great experience. It's actually Sunday, that's why it's so loud. Every single one of these is full. Everybody comes here early morning. This is like an early brunch, right? It's like only 10.30 in the morning. Huge feast, delicious, delicious, delicious seafood. You got fish, crabs, you also have shrimp, you have other fish, you have mussels, and also the pancake. Pancake and the putu. I mean the putu. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and both these adventures right here. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Kerala. Peace.